really interesting, don't you think? Honorable Lady Ida, over the last few weeks there has been an alarming increase in magical anomalies around our village, a small hamlet called Runswick. Tormented by fear, the locals are now scapegoating everyone who possesses some knowledge of magic. The villagers even threw stones at my harmless magical messenger bird. I can only hope that it will manage to deliver my letter to you safe and sound. Please come visit our village as soon as you can. The presence of a royal priestess should put the locals' restless souls at ease. Yours faithfully, Village Chief, Ihan. Just look at what the people of Runswick did to this poor bird. If the villagers don't calm down, sooner or later the inhabitants of the enchanted forest will retaliate. Then revolt will be inevitable. It is our duty as royal clerics to convince these people that violence isn't the solution. Please, open the portal to Runswick with the help of our magic mirror and enter it as soon as you can. I'll stay here and send a letter to the Royal Clerics Council to inform them of your temporary absence from the Academy. May luck be on your side, Lady Ida.
Pestering her! Who gave you the right to harass our herbalist? Leave her alone! Now! Lady Ida, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for taking the time to visit us. Just look at this angry mob. There's no way on earth I can reason with him. You, on the other hand, are a royal priestess, so your authority should make him take heed. Please find a way to distract the mob from our poor herbalist's house. We know you're here, Ursula! Get out of our village, you... Who has condescended to visit our godforsaken village? If it isn't our Lady High Priestess, they say the mere mention of your name is enough to make any evil sorcerer tremble with fear. But basking in glory is one thing, and actually helping the good cause is another. A deadly curse has afflicted this village for nearly a month now. It's wiping out our people like some kind of plague. And what have you done to uncover its origin? If you're as powerful as they say, prove your worth to us and lift the curse from Runswick. Attention, everyone. We are leaving. Let's scour the other areas of our village. You never know where those sorcerers might be lurking. As for that petty witch, leave her to our Lady High Priestess. Quick. 
Jack, come in before the mob is back at my door. I'm Ursula, an herbalist for this village. I brew infusions to heal wounds and relieve pain. I've cured so many residents of Runswick, and now those same people are accusing me of witchcraft. The locals suspect I might have something to do with the curse that befell our village. Vigo and his followers are demanding I leave Runswick for good. The persecution forced me to hide my medicinal herbs. If the angry mob burst into my house, at least it won't find any proof of my so-called sorcery. Forget about healing potions. I can't even make a cup of soothing tea to calm myself down. The villagers will lash out at me as soon as they see me approach my cauldron. Thank you so much, Lady Priestess. I feel a bit better already. However, I know the locals won't leave me alone. Not until the magical anomalies stop occurring in our village. Blinded by fear, the residents of Runswick know no better than to persecute everyone who has access to arcane knowledge. They can't even tell a witch from a harmless herbalist. The curse of Runswick has its roots in the blight that emerges after the use of forbidden magic. I could help the villagers track down the true culprit, but they won't take heed of my advice, and I'm too scared to approach them anyway. You have no idea what those crazed people are capable of. Anger and hatred have clouded their minds. The only way to stop the spread of the blight is to banish the evil sorcerer, who has put down roots in our village. It would make sense to scour the nearby forest too, but the peasants have barricaded the path leading to it. Perhaps they assume that's where the sorcerer might be lurking and are trying to prevent them from entering the village. In any case, there must be some traces of forbidden rituals in Runswick. Could you gather them and bring them to me, please? Once I've studied them, I should be able to identify the culprit. In the meantime, I'll draw up a list of the locals who have magical abilities. Oh, and take this. I'm sure you'll make good use of it.
Have you managed to gather any evidence? Have you managed to gather any evidence?
Have you managed to gather? Let's see what traces of forbidden rites you've managed to discover. My list is ready, so I'll be able to use it to identify the sorcerer. This suggests our sorcerer is rather cautious. Night vision would help them spot village patrols from a mile away and give them enough time to hide. As far as I know, there aren't any alchemists among the residents of Runswick. This leads me to believe the culprit isn't from our village. Here's our proof the villain doesn't live in Runswick. However, judging by the secret passages shown on this map, the sorcerer regularly visits our village. What for, I wonder? It's time to put our findings together. A moon-worshipping alchemist who lives somewhere nearby? My best guess is that it might be Wilhelm, Ehon's former personal healer. It's been a while since we last saw Wilhelm around here, so I don't know what he's been up to lately. Let's check my theory and pay a visit to his residence. He lives in an old tower on the outskirts of our village. Follow me and I'll take you there. Thank you for agreeing to help our village. I know the shortest route to Wilhelm's tower. We'll get there in a matter of minutes. I had long suspected you of sorcery, Wilhelm. The curse plaguing our village is your handiwork, isn't it? Well, now your own tower will become your prison cell. And soon enough, your grave. Does that idiot seriously think he can stop a powerful sorcerer simply by locking him inside his own tower? If Wilhelm really is a warlock, defeating him will require a lot more skill. Let's clear the entrance and find him quick. Have you come to finish what that ignorant rabble started? Those uneducated peasants know no better than to blame sorcerers and herbalists alike for all their misfortunes. The villager's wrath is justified, Wilhelm. We have proof that you've been practicing forbidden magic on our soil. Your rituals have spawned the blight in Runswick. Who else can we blame it on if not you? Well, that's a curious plot twist. Since when does an herbalist take the side of the dim-witted peasantry? Didn't they surround your house armed with pitchforks and torches as well? The residents of Runswink aren't my enemies. Yes, they treated me unfairly, but it's despair that's forcing them to do that. 
They'll regret their hostility once their lives go back to normal. Fine. Champions of justice, I see your point of view. I indeed practice forbidden magic in Runswick, but I had good reason for it. And although you might not believe me, it's not me who is to blame for that curse. I can actually help you reverse the blight. But before I let you in on its true origin, please, dress the wound on my leg. When the column of my tower collapsed, a boulder fell from the roof and scraped it. resort to sorcery, but that decision was justified. For a long time, Ihan was so frail he couldn't walk without his staff. I cured him, but the disease came back with full force. Ihan and I share ties of friendship, so I didn't envisage refusing to treat his ailment. When my healing spells proved insufficient, I had to turn to my book of forbidden magic. However, the rites I performed to treat Ihan were nothing but a tiny shard of sorcery, not powerful enough to infest a single flower or stone with blight. I carried out the Moonlit Eyes ritual just to be able to deliver healing potions to Ihan unseen by the village guards. I actually... Thanks a lot for your help. I feel a bit better already. Now I can do my part of the deal. Listen to me, and I'll tell you why I was performing forbidden rituals. As you can see, I'm not the villain. Sadly, the villagers didn't even give me a chance to explain everything. Here, take my encyclopedia of potion making. It will open the secret passage to my laboratory. As a powerful priestess, you should be able to continue my research on the Blight. If you wish, you can also ascend to the top of my tower. There you'll learn about the plight that befell Ihan. Does my proposal interest you, Lady Ida?
I've managed to collect a sample of the blight. Studying it in detail should help us eradicate the scourge. Unfortunately, when the mob encircled my tower, I rushed to stash everything away that had to do with alchemy, and ended up smashing my microscope. I do have a replacement, but it won't work without special magic lenses. Could you find them, please? In the meantime, Ursula and I will look for some hints in my library. My tower is at your complete disposal. Feel free to take everything you may need to conduct research on that sample. Once you learn something new, please let me know.
your conclusion confirms my theory. You'll be surprised to hear that the culprit isn't an evil sorcerer. Forbidden magic isn't the only thing capable of putting a curse on a human settlement. The sages of the past wrote that blight is nothing but a quintessence of hatred and malice. For decades on end, the residents of Runeswick have persecuted everyone who was different, be it witches, mages, alchemists, or harmless magical creatures. This age-old spite has accumulated over the years and corrupted their land. And even now, the villagers blame everyone but themselves. As we... I suspected that too, but I didn't want to point fingers without sufficient proof. I dread to think how the villagers will react to such news. Attempting to reason with the enraged peasants sounds like a suicide mission to me. If we tell the locals they are to blame for the blight, Wilhelm and I will be the next to be burned at the stake. This is a message from our village chief Ihan. I recognize this personal messenger bird. I wonder what news it has brought us. We must rush to Runswick. The peasants have learned about Ihan's secret meetings with Wilhelm and are now accusing him of conspiracy with an evil sorcerer. They're threatening to execute their own chief. Runswick doesn't need a chief who conspires with warlocks! Get out of our village and don't even dare to come back! The time has come to purge our land from your dark sorcery! Not so fast, Viego. Here's a little eye-opener. Warlocks are not responsible for the emergence of the Blight in Runswick. It is the hostility in the villagers' hearts that has poisoned this land. Wilhelm! How did you manage to get out of the tower? Was it really our High Priestess who helped you escape? I can't believe a righteous royal cleric has chosen to side with witches! And now you're telling me the Blight stems from my heart? And not from your own sorcery? If you're helping this warlock, Lady Ida, you are no better than our enemy. So I won't spare you either. Residents of Runswick, open your eyes! You are ready to execute innocent people without a trial! Diego, from now onwards, I shall keep an eye on you and your followers. If you continue to persecute practitioners of magic, I'll banish you from our village for good! I can't thank you enough for saving my life, Lady Ida. Who would have thought the residents of Runswick could go so far? in their quest to purify our village from witchcraft.
Those people will never leave adepts of magic alone. Their malice is turning my home into a barren wasteland. When the blight devours Runswick, they'll blame it on us all over again. Could you take me as your apprentice? Together, we'll make the villagers answer for their atrocities. I won't rest until the last trace of blight disappears from our soil. <laughs>